Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic Survival Mode, and this is just a quick kind of update to test out a new update in Survival Mode that they just added to the test branch. So they now finally added the beacons into Survival Mode. I have not yet crafted a beacon, but I've crafted the materials necessary because apparently... Uh, here, let me get into my menu here. In order to craft a beacon, as you can see right here, radio beacon emits tracking signal that can be toggled in the logbook. You need to have radios. And this is actually new. When you hover over, it actually tells you what the uh, material is, which is really great for new players because one of the things that was really hard to uh, figure out what it was when you're a new player, if I could find something that actually requires it. There we go, yes. The ember. It's hard to tell what that is as a new player, but now you can just hover over and it says ember and that gives you an idea of a better idea of what you're actually looking for. So let's go ahead and start crafting a beacon here. Now here's a tip. Uh, I ran into this issue. Uh, I went to craft myself a radio and I couldn't do it. I had all of these materials and I just could not craft the radio. And that is because I was out of glue. Radios also take glue. Now if you go over here and you scroll down, you can see there is an additional material down here. There, it doesn't tell you that there's a scroll bar or anything, so it's kind of misleading. But it took me a while to figure out that I did not have the necessary materials, because here it looks like this is all you need. But nope, you also need glue for a radio. So if you're having trouble with your radio to get your beacon, that is why. All right, so we've just I'm going to craft myself a couple of beacons here. Yeah, let's just craft. I'm gonna craft three beacons, but I just crafted my first one. Should be over here, so let's see. This is my first time using the beacon. Oh, another thing before we get to the beacon, there's now a consumables tab here. But yeah, they added a new tab. They also added these colors to indicate, uh, I think when you're in your inventory, you see the colors and they also match up to indicate what they are. All right, so let's check out the radio beacon now. I have not used this yet. This is gonna be my first impression of it. Um, oh. Oh, let me not, here, let's not use it on the laggy part of the base. How about that? Let's get out of here. All right, here we go. And that is so weird. I think it's going to be facing this way, but it's actually, it faces this way. Listen to the sound. That's a pretty cool sound. All right, let's use it. Okay, you can select different colors for what you want it to be. So for home base... Um, I don't, red for home, I don't know, I feel like red should be for, like, danger, you know? But I guess you could have, you could have a combination between color, wow, you could have a lot of stuff. You could have a combination between colors and symbols. So, home, is there, please, this is home. There we go. So I'll have a red home. There we are. And is there a way for me to, like, toggle that on and off? All right, so you can use your uh, HUD on and off doing Alt-Z to get rid of the symbols, but I don't like that. I wish there was a way, because if I have like a whole bunch of these here, let me go get my other ones. Actually, I'm just going to, I'm going to build as many as I have access to right now. I think I can build like two more. And I'm going to, I want to scatter them across the world and let's see how it looks. I think that's going to be the big thing about these is how do they actually look? I have two more here. Uh, and looking at the symbols here, it looks like we got, I don't know what up and down arrows are going to be. This could be just like point of interest. This could be like, I don't know what this is. Oh, you could leave one on your vehicle. Ooh, that is useful. Ah, yeah. So here, if I, oh, this is so big though. This thing is so big for a vehicle. If I just have this like sticking out of my I don't see there's no there's no good way to put this down here I mean I guess I could put it like right on top of here I don't know see, this is this is so heavy too here let's look at the stats actually wait that's five but that's five per volume per unit of volume it's not even that durable which is kind of concerning um but you could theoretically just here you know what I should probably put it on my helipad if I'm going to have it on any vehicle, it should be the helipad because I'm going to be taking my flyer places and I'm flying off and I need to come back to the helipad. So here, there we go. So this is going to be vehicle for my helipad thing. And what color should it be? All right, there we go. So now my helipad is marked permanently. Oh, what about paint? Do I have paint on me? I do have paint on me. Let's see what colors this thing paints. If I paint this red. Nice. Yeah, I was hoping that all of it would paint red. That's cool. I like that. All right, so now we got a bunch more. And let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to put my home one actually somewhere more useful because right out in the front isn't going to be great. That's going to just get annihilated during raids. 
So I'm actually going to go ahead and put this up at the very top of my base. I think it's going to be a great place for this. All right, take the throne up to the very, very top. And I think it should be placed right back here. Oh, of course it's facing the wrong way. Hold on, right back here. There we go. And then this is going to be home base. It looks like we got, oh, this could definitely be warehouse right here. We can have forest if there's a forest you want, mining for drilling, or you could have, this could be for harvesting. You have your boss indicator. You can mark the mechanic station. That's good. You can mark walk areas. What is this? Trader? Maybe this is for the trader? Oh, that's useful. Yeah, let's let's try to find as many of these places that are useful for marking. We can mark the trader. I can mark a chemical uh, swamp. Why fire? I don't know what. Oh, oh, ember forest. We can mark ember forest. Oh, this is really, I like these. Food? Where, where do we mark food? All right, I'm starting to like this. All right, so home's definitely going to be red. All right, we'll send our chair back down. Okay, so now let's go to the trader and let's put one at the trader. Because my goal right now is to, I just want to put where, I just want to put a bunch of beacons where I would put them. And then I want to see what my map looks like with all these beacons, you know? All right, here we are at Mr. Trader. I'm actually curious, what do we even have as far as materials at the trader already? Oh, wow, look at all the blueberries and broccoli we have here. That's pretty nice. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this right here. And we're going to put, mark this as the trader. And I feel like trader should be orange. Or yellow. I'm gonna go with orange, or maybe even this color. No, I'm gonna go with orange. There we go, Mr. Trader. Is that even? Is that that looks like it's supposed to be the trader? Oh, you know what? What about packing station? What symbol could be used for packing? I guess the food, maybe. Food could be used for packing stations because that's where you take your food. All right, so now we got the trader marked. So I'm going to mark the chemical swamp next because that is also relatively close to here. And I feel like I don't need to mark the packing stations because I have a packing station on either side of the trader, pretty much. They're easy to find. All right, here we are at the chemical station. And this is the chemical station. Is it still here? Yeah, this is where I actually... Ugh. Good job, Scrap Man. This is where I actually have a bunch of chemicals just waiting for me, but um, I already have a bunch back home anyway. So let's go ahead and take a beacon. And we will also place a beacon right here. There we go. So this should have to be chemicals and chemicals. I would have like want to do green because green is like a chemical color to me. But these chemicals, they doesn't even have this color. This is like a weird magenta color, but we only have purple and red. I'm going to go with purple because if you look at like, if you look at the actual color of these, this is kind of purple. So I think purple works well for chemicals. All right. I have two more beacons on me. So what should we mark? How about let's actually mark the mechanic station because we may need to find our way back there sometimes if we want to get some more uh, resource collectors or craft bots or anything like that. Oh, you know what I should try? Oh, let's do Scrap City. I want to fly to Scrap City, put a marker down there and then fly back. That is the ultimate. Yeah, that is the ultimate right there because Scrap City is like the farthest away from here. So being able to find Scrap City, we can place a beacon somewhere on the top of one of the towers with our flyer. And then we can actually use our beacon to fly our way back home as efficiently as possible. That'll be a great test of the beacon. All right, here we are at the good old mechanic station. This brings back memories. <laughs> There's all my milk, uh, my milk vending machines from back in the day. I guess I'll put a beacon. I'm going to put it on top of this thing. There we go. We got mechanic station. Definitely going to be yellow for mechanic station. That's just obvious because the big yellow wrench on top of it. All right. Now let's head back home. And now oh, I can actually use my um, my guidance to go back home. My beacon to go back home. All right. Oh, at night. It is a little bit weird at night seeing just these bright symbols off in the distance. All right. So I'm hoping I have. Oh, yeah. I have plenty of fuel on this thing. All right. So this shouldn't be a problem. How much fuel do I have in it? All right. Not a whole lot. Wait a minute. I swear I just heard the sound of, like, a, a hay bot. Wait, I think I just... Is Hank back? Wait. Do I have a... What's happening here? <gasps> Hank? Is that you, Hank? Did you bring a friend here? Oh, I'm sorry, your friend... No! Are you attacking the drill? What? Did they change something with the bots? That bot just attacked a drill. That is against the law in Scrap Mechanic land. What? I didn't see that in the patch notes. All right, but I think Hank find Guys, I think we did it. 
I think Hank got our message. He's finally back. I don't know if I don't know if the bots have different AI or something, but I gotta put that to the test at some point. I I don't know if these bots are supposed to be doing that. Come on, come after me. Stay after me, please. No, please stay after me. Hank, welcome home, Hank. Welcome home. Follow me over to the pool. You deserve, you've been out for so long. You deserve a nice dip in the pool. Come on, nice dip in the pool. The pool's down the stairs. Don't, don't be thrown off by the railings. Okay, ow. Yeah, there we go. All right, almost there. Follow me. There you go. Doesn't that feel nice? Here, enjoy your water show too. All right, guys, we did it. We put the Hank merch out there. We let Hank know he was missing. And we let people know Hank was missing, and somebody must have told him that we missed him, and he's back now. So everyone, everyone give Hank a big welcome back, all right? How did this door close? I did not close that. All right, anyway. Back to, what was I doing? Oh yeah, let me test something out here real quick. We just saw a greenie attacking a drill, which defies all logic from previous experience with the game. So I'm gonna go drive out with my car that is protected by saws and drills, and we're gonna see if we can find another greenie over here. Here we go. And is he gonna attack my car without any hesitation? Okay, he's hesitating. That must have been a fluke. No, 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 what? Why is he just approaching? What is this? What is this? He's not afraid anymore. All right, now he's afraid. I am so confused. He was totally ready to attack. All right, I'm feeling a little bit concerned here. A little bit concerned at the prospect of what that means. He was not, he, he's not as afraid as he used to be of this kind of stuff. So that concerns me. It seems that at least the greenies are getting a little bit braver now. So be wary. If you're in the test branch, if you have things that are reliant on being protected by drills and saws, they might just attack the drills. You don't know now. All right, so the sun's just about to come up, so this is actually pretty good timing. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the flyer. We're gonna get ready to head, uh, hopefully to Scrap City. And then we are going to place our final beacon there. What are we gonna mark Scrap City with though? Could be this? Cause it's like a, I don't know. Does that, does that communicate Scrap to you guys? We could do this because there's a bunch of bosses there, but maybe not. This, I think this is going to be Scrap City icon right here. And we can make it uh, yellow. No, we can make it orange. I don't know. We can make it this color. All right. Well, off to Scrap City we go. I believe it is in this general direction. Wow. We actually... That was pretty much a straight shot right here. That worked out great. All right, so where should I put the beacon? I feel like on the top of the middle of Scrap City is kind of the good place to put it. This is like the tallest building right in here. So let's land on top of this tallest building here. Oh yeah, look at that landing. That was perfect. And let me use my toilet. We're just gonna, we're gonna put, nobody's gonna be able to get this thing. Imagine if they put flying bots in the future updates. Oh man, that would be intense. All right, there we go. And then we change this to the scrap icon. And just like that, we now have Scrap City nice and marked for us. And look at that, we got our home back there. We got our helipad. Yeah, everything's a different color. While I'm here though, can I see any golden chests? Oh, there's one. I see a golden chest. All right, this is a really awkward spot to land, but don't worry, I'm an I'm an expert. There we go, and come on, epic garment box. Hmm. Driver saddle is not bad. All right, so now let's head home using our brand new beacons for guidance. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh, all right, we're good. We're good. Everything's good. All right, home we go. Yeah, this is nice. Now I have a direct line of sight to what direction I need to head in. And with a flyer, it works great because you don't have to worry about roads or bodies of water blocking your way. All 
All right, here we are. It's gonna load in any second. Where's our home? Go on, there we are. And I am almost, I am so close to running out of fuel right now, guys. So close to running out of fuel. All right, let's just go ahead and land it right down here. Look at that landing, that was great. And how much fuel do I got? I have four fuel left. We used 96 fuel on that trip to the Scrap City and back, but now we have a permanent marker at the Scrap City if ever we wanna go there and look for some more epic loot. All right, well, there you have it. That is the beacon. Let me know what you guys think about the beacon. Can you think of any other creative uses that I may have overlooked in this video on how the beacon could be used? I think finding vehicles and obviously marking points of interest is the main way to use the beacon. But maybe there's something I'm not thinking of. Let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys are having a happy Halloween. If you didn't see earlier today, I uploaded a Halloween special video showing off some insane pumpkin creations that people in my Discord community have made. So you can check that out on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.